live from your local news leader, Matthew White, Amanda Brennan, and Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Adam Sherwinski. You're watching The Morning Show at 9 on WCIA 3. Well, we're back with another installment of Wise Guys. We've got Paul Quiot from the University of Illinois here to indulge us in some science. So what are we talking about today? Yeah, cool stuff. So this is uh, almost part three. We've been talking about polarization and light. And just to remember, to remind you, so light is uh, a wave. We can think of it as a wave. And uh, there's a graphic uh, that kind of shows this. It's got this uh, fields that are oscillating and uh, the electric and magnetic fields that are oscillating. And the direction of the oscillation of the electric field, we call that the polarization. And uh, so the electric field is going up and down, and that'll move charges around. And if I go through a particular material called a polarizer, which is the next slide, uh, and the, uh, the light is polarized uh, along the direction of the long molecules, then it, it can be absorbed, and otherwise it'll be transmitted. So that allows us to block one polarization and let the other one through. We saw last time that you can use that, for example, for 3D movies yes. uh, and also in polarizing sunglasses, we might have that. So if the material doesn't actually absorb the polarization, uh, absorb the light, then it, it will go through, but it'll go through at a different speed. Okay. And that's if it, if it goes in at an angle, it will bend. That's called refraction. And there are some materials where the that speed depends on the polarization itself. And those are called, uh, usually there's two different speeds. So it's two different types of refraction or bi, bi refraction Got or bi, bi refringence. Okay, so we saw a couple of examples of that uh, a while ago. So this is just a polarizing light box. And this is just another polarizer. So this is letting everything through and it's blocking everything. And we saw last time, for example, just something simple like this plastic bottle uh, is actually letting, you know, all this light, yeah. all this light through. Yep. And so this one had some color effects that were going on with it. Okay, so that was also kind of kind of interesting. So what is actually causing this refraction or this birefringence, I should say? So if we go to the next slide, it's that there's some sort of asymmetry in the material. So for example, um, the, the, it might be that it has a crystal structure that's not really uh, symmetric, that's like rectangular. So things that are oscillating along the, where the crystal, they're more, the atoms are more closely spaced the polarization will be different than if it goes along the direction when it's further apart. Or if we have something like a saran wrap or something like that where we can do a stretch. So I have some other demos of that. So here's just one, just a normal piece of plastic which is stretched out. And when it's stretched out, a little hard to see, when it's stretched out, then the molecules uh, are going to go in one direction. And so right now, the two different speeds are going to be associated with whether you're going this way or this way. So if I put this in just like this, it doesn't really do much. But if I now allow us to do something where we can see the difference between those we can compare the difference I see all these different color, color effects happening I can do this with this other one also another piece of plastic where we don't see too much but then I see all these kind of colors when I'm uh, oh, yeah. looking at the at the different orientation and we can also do this for example with a piece of saran wrap here so I'm just normal saran wrap I'm just gonna pull on this and when I do it's gonna sh it's gonna change all of the um, the directions and the spacing, and you can see all these colors appearing as I start to yeah. do that. Yeah. Okay, so another way that we can change the uh, polarization is the next slide, is that if we have the molecules are actually different sizes, like in a liquid crystal, uh, that's like what you would have in a digital watch or also in a display, then a light that's polarized along the long direction is going to go a little slower than light that's polarized perpendicular to it. And then the last one is if we can actually induce stress on a material. When there's stress, uh, then that changes the spacing uh, between the atoms. So uh, if we come back to us, uh, I'm going to let you read. So we have this piece of plastic here. It's just an ordinary piece of plastic with some cutouts. And y you are strong enough, it turns out, to completely change the spacing between those atoms. So you're just going to put this in here and squeeze it. Yeah, and we can see where all the lines, all the stress lines, all the colors are coming from in that case. Yeah. And we can do the same thing. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, very strong. You? <laughs> I can do the same thing uh, just with this piece of plastic. If I rotate it, oh, can you can definitely see, see it. all these different stress lines. In fact, there's also a bunch of stress in my own glasses. If I just put them in, we see all these kind of interesting colors that appear of where all the polarization is being changed. And one of the reasons I like this is you can do these experiments at home actually yeah. really quite easily. So you need a polar source of polarized light and in fact a laptop itself. Uh, this is just my monitor and it's polarized as we can see with you know this polarizer I can block the light or let the light out. And almost every monitor is polarized because they're all using liquid crystals in order to show you what you want. Uh, and also you can play with polarization with something simple just like cellophane tape. So this is just some ordinary cellophane tape that's on a piece of glass and we can get all these really 
fancy, fancy colors that come out. So you can like make secret messages and artwork and all kinds of fun stuff like that. Definitely a little science project maybe while kids are home over winter break. It would this be perfect. Next little few weeks here. Indeed. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We'll be right back with more news and weather after this. Thank you so much.